down below. Well, let me just pull it up here. So who was it? Who was it? No, one second, one second. It was, there it is. Shout out to. Do not, do not butter my bobo. Not this morning. We're going out. You better believe it. Celebration time, right, Henry? And your new jammies and fresh coffee at the restaurant. Come on now. Come on now. Enough of those bobos for a week. Okay, we love you. Ciao. Breakfast time. Uh oh, do we need it today? Here we go. Hot coffee. Hot oh, maybe, hopefully that camera doesn't fall. There we go. There we go. <laughs> You want a little uh, coffee with that cream and sugar? Just a bit. True love? Bacon, 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 bacon. Oh, wow. Oh, awesome. oh man. That looks so good. Boom. There we go. Come on now. You rock. Thank you, sir. Do I even have to say it? Do I even have to say it? I won't even say it. You know what I'm going to say. Oh, my, my. Come on now. Wow. Have you picked up your merch yet? Mm-hmm. Have you picked up your merch yet? Down below. Not messing around. How's true love doing over there? Hello, hello. No leftovers today, that is for sure. Eat, drink, and be merry indeed. That is today's vlog, oh my my. So when I celebrate, I like to celebrate with chocolate. I don't know about all of you, but this is not the question of the day, but what is your go-to snack after a peak race? Like, I can't, I can't resist, right? It's like, chocolate, the, the best, chocolate. What else is there? What else is there? And what's the best place in town to get delicious <laughs> chocolate things? Trader Joe's. So we're off to Trader Joe's. Get some chocolate, oh man. Denied, all right. No filming allowed in Trader Joe's. Didn't know that, Rookie sorry mistake. Sorry about that. Uh, the manager was very, very kind though. Yeah. And uh, he congratulated for the Pikes Peak win. Uh, but I will never be sponsored by a running shoe company, but I will be sponsored by, I will say, Trader Joe's chocolate. <laughs> Look at all this, hon. We got Dark chocolate honey graham with sea salt. salt. We got some chocolate chip cookies. Oh. And then, uh, oh, what was this? Oh yeah, toasted coconut granola bar oh, bark. Oh, and then some, uh, there we go. Oh, what is this? This is oh. the dark chocolate almond buttercups. buttercups. So, oh, those are, I've never seen those. those what, 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 what's that one? Roundels. Oh, oh. Peanut butter roundels. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Roasted pistachio. So, we're, we're good. We're good to go. So no, no shoe, no shoe contract, but Trader Joe's chocolate, yes. We'll be beholden. Yes. Joe's anytime. Beholden to chocolate, anytime. Oh, <laughs> man. Really, really We're good. Gonna, let's open up uh, one of these right now. I understand. No, I understand. I can't. I'm going to jump uh -huh, in there with uh -huh. you. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, my, my. Come on. Wow. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eat, drink, and be merry. I, I don't know about all of you, but I'm a hundred percent keep the chocolate in the freezer kind of guy. Come on now. Frozen chocolate. It's just, I don't know. It just tastes better. It's like Thin Mints. Oh, oh, Thin Mints. You got to put them in the freezer, in my humble opinion. All right. 
Let's get this nice and nice and nice frozen here. There we go. So one of, my, uh, one of my strategies after a really hard race is to keep walking around the house, taking the trash out, moving the sprinklers around, just keeping the legs moving just a little bit. I tell you what, I'm gonna be sore, I think, tomorrow more so, but I can walk. Like, I just, I'm just happy I can walk and I, uh, and I can squat down like this. It's, I'm actually a little surprised anyway. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just making sure I can keep moving, keep moving. Don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do. A little, little afternoon pick me up, there it is. Woo! I'm really not very good at sitting around, just sitting around. It's, it's, it's foreign to me, but I, I'm working on it right now, everybody. There it is, there it is. I, I'm watching a documentary called Slaying the Badger. If you're from France, you know who the Badger is. It's a cycling documentary on ESPN+. Very entertaining, and uh, just trying to keep, keep me off my feet today. I suppose it had to be the Americans that did it. The first female masseuse on the Tour de France, Shelley, has a real job on her hands. Han, thank you. No, no, no salad tonight, everybody. Look at that plate. Michael, look at the cheese. Oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite meals, just a board. I'd like to cheers to first day of school for the boys. Congrats, boys. That's right, cheers. Eat, drink, and be merry. All right, cheers, Michael. Boom, there we go. Hello. True love spoils me. You spoil me, my love. Okay, just wrapping up dinner and clean up on this eat, drink, and be merry day. And before I forget, here we go. Shout out to Bo and Dustin. Thank you for the sign from the race on Sunday. They came down and cheered uh, friends from back in Buena Vista. So there it is. Love it. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Love it. Shout out to Bo. Thank you, Bo. Um, all right, here is the deal. Oh, yeah. You ready for this? So I've gone through the comments. Remember, I think it was the morning of the race. I asked the question of the day, what time would I run for my finishing time for the Pikes Peak Marathon? Up and down the mountain, what's the final time? And I ran, right, well, let me just double check, 3.36.31, and nobody guessed it exactly right. It was close, actually, I am beyond impressed. A lot of people were guessing in the 3.36 range, very impressive. Uh, but I've decided, even though nobody nailed it down to the second, I make the rules. The person who gets the closest is going to win the DGR, or sorry, not the DGR, the Butter My Bread merch down below. Well, let me just pull it up here. So who was it? Who was it? No, one second, one second. It was, there it is. Shout out to Andy Dunn. He guessed 336. 29 and I confirmed that he did it before I finished. Don't worry. 336 29 missed it by two seconds. Congrats, Andy. You win the merch, Andy. If you can remember, 
uh, to email me. So we got to communicate. So I'm going to get you, you know, your t-shirt, hoodie, whatever you want from the Butter My Bread merch down below. Andy Dunn, spelled D-U-N-N. He was two seconds off. Uh, amazing. So cool. Okay. Thank you for watching. I know this is a, this is a life vlog out to breakfast, good times, on rest, no running today, no running shoe reviews, and just enjoying life, right? Just enjoying life. So question of the day. Um, oh, I had it just a second ago. Oh yeah, there we go. So watching the documentary today about uh, the cycling documentary got me thinking, what is a documentary or a movie that you can watch over and over and over again and it just never really gets old so a doc documentary or a movie that's the question of the day kind of opening it up uh beyond running for the qd thanks for being here thanks for watching let's go get it let's go get it all right we'll toss it back to the running race playlist all right so all the race vlogs from the last you know three years will be right here there's i think i don't know if there's like 20 or 30 vlogs but if you want to go watch some racing vlogs which is where the Pikes Peak Marathon vlog is at. It'll be right there, right there. Let's go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.